Jason here for yet another video and welcome to the NG models. I think what's going to be November 2022 releases. I've not looked at these yet other than seeing some things on Instagram. There's a Southwest Canyon Blue 700, American Century 8, American 787. And I think there was a One World Fin A350. So let's take a look at them. As far as I understand, both of the future releases were also added. So let's take a look at these. All right, there's the WestJet 737-600 that JT Pilot predicted would be in this release set. Very nice looking aircraft right there. Now there's the Southwest tail is Golf Sierra Whiskey Uniform Uniform, I think. Or no, Juliet Uniform. Southwest 700, there's the American 800. Southwest 700 is November 957, Whiskey November. I remember commenting on the video that I thought that a blended 700 would come out first instead of a split heart 800 and here it is here's the blended 700 makes a lot of sense second hint was nine five something and that is nine zero three november november that's a standard livery 800 i think let's take a look yeah i'll be picking this one up i'm really interested in this it'll be a nice model so we got three models I'm probably going to pick up. What do we have? Gerudo Triple Three. I was hoping for this one. Uh, is it Standard Livery? Papa Hotel Golf. Papa Kilo Golf. India Hotel is the registration on this one. And it is indeed a Standard Livery Triple Three. I've been waiting for that. There it is. Just a Standard Livery. Really nice to see that. American 787-8. Oh, this is the new 787. November 880 Bravo Juliet. Really neat to see the 7878 mold come out from NG. I will be picking this one up as I've been wanting a 7878 from American. That's good. My Gemini Jets one isn't amazing. And so this one will be added to my collection. Nice model there. I just want to confirm that that is 880 Bravo Juliet. So nice model. We have a pair of Hynan 787s both dash eights too so they're really pushing the new dash eights bravo 2722 is the first one i will be picking this up i've always wanted a high nan 787 dash eight but never picked one up there haven't been many made frankly it's only been like one or two and here we have another one bravo 2739 is the registration for it looks like and this one has a red nose that's cool i'll probably just pick up the rego one scoot 787 dash nine this one is my victor charlie or oscar julius julius is that stupid pokemon one yeah it is that stupid pokemon one they have a couple of these i don't really like them that's just my opinion though lan 787-9 charlie charlie bravo golf india this registration this is a cool model i would consider picking this one up I've never seen a Land 787. I did see a Land 767 back in Chicago back in the day, but yeah. What have we here? A319. This is that European one. Yankee Romeo Alpha Sierra Charlie. A318 from Tehran Ter Air Airways, something like that. They're one of the more interesting A318 operators. Now, I'm still waiting for the Frontier one. I will pick that up, but this is a neat one here. Air France A320-200. Foxtrot Hotel Echo Foxtrot Charlie. Here it is, just a standard A320. I know a lot of European collectors will be overjoyed for this one. I'll pick it up. Here we have Air China A321-200. Bravo 1978. Just a standard livery one too, that's awesome with the IAE engines, the V2500s, those are going to be great models. What have we next? Cut toy, A330-200, Alpha 7, Alpha Charlie Bravo, oh, Alpha Charlie Sierra, correct from there. And this one is in the, what looks like FIFA World Cup 2022 livery. They actually brought these back out of storage. They brought 14 A330s out of storage and their entire fleet of 10 A380s out of storage for the FIFA World Cup. So that's really cool to see there. Another Qatar A330 200. This one's another special. Alpha 7. Alpha Echo Foxtrot. Another 200. 
And this is yet another FIFA World Cup livery. I don't know why they did two of them. Is this a 300? That looks to be a 300. I think that is an A3300. Yeah, that's a 300. So they did 200 and 300 both in the FIFA World Cup livery. They were doing a lot of Qatar Airways models recently. Here's the Finnair 5900 This would be the One World. Oscar Hotel Lima Whiskey Bravo. That should be the One World. Yeah, there it is. I think the One World livery looks really clean on Finnair because of how white their livery already is. Ethiopian 5900 Echo Tango Alpha Victor Echo. Very cool aircraft. And this one has a special livery. I believe this is the 10th A350 livery. That's cool. Now the next one I assume is a regular livery because they said it would make two. Here it is. Echo Tango Alpha Yankee Alpha. And the one up top was Alpha Yankee Echo. Cool one. Very cool. Transworld Airways L1011 200 and 31 Zero two nine, and this is in their uh, retirement living for these aircraft. The final living that they had in the nineteen nineties. I can't. I haven't liked this living all the time, but it is growing on me. It sort of has a royal New Yorker feel to it, so it's kind of cool in that aspect. All right, next up, we got a Chinese. Is that TU-154M Bravo 4029. This appears to be for the Chinese Air Force. Oh, it's a special one. There's some special pods and such on it. Yeah, this is for the PLNA, the People's Liberation Air Force. Uh, interesting. ARJ-21. Since that's the new special event, I think it is. Bravo 653 Echo. That purple special livery? No, it is not. This is a Tiger special livery. I'm surprised they did not make the purple one yet. Okay. Come on, Angie. Let me load more. There is the British Airways L1011-200. That was a future release. Golf Bravo Hotel Bravo Romeo. This is a special Queen Elizabeth the second livery. This was the aircraft she flew on when she went to Hong Kong, I believe it was, in 1988. Let's take a look. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth II this is a commemoration, but previously, if you take a look at one of my previous videos, she visited Hong Kong 1988 or something like that on this aircraft. And then we have the end of Zealand, Black, One World, A321 Neo, Zulu Kilo, Oscar, Yankee, Bravo, and that is the last model. So no more future releases, at least for now. I'm not a fan of future releases anyway. So here we go. A ton of models for a lot of people from around the world. Um, also, I missed this only poem 7879. So it's that special. Knows the uh, one, not one world, but Star Alliance livery. Julia Alpha 872 Alpha. Very neat release set. Uh, speaking of which, a bunch of models from last month sold out. The Gulfstream sold out. The Air India L1011 sold out. The 2BA318 sold out. And the Alaska Star Wars sold out. Pretty neat. I did, in fact, order this here KLM 78710. So expect that to be coming very soon. That'll be an unboxing sometime soon. Probably in the next two weeks. Stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, a lot of models have been delayed. Tennessee 1 is one of them. A few others have been delayed. But most of them are in stock and you can buy them today. Pretty neat releases from NG here. I do apologize that this video is probably going to be the last one made of all the YouTubers who make these release videos. The last two release videos I made, I believe I was actually the first person. It was a Gemini and an NG release. I was the first person to do both. Now I'm going to be the last person. Yes, I do have a job, which results in these videos coming out later. But, you know, I'm making a good career and eventually I'll end up being able to retire with a very nice income, nice house, cars, all that stuff. But that requires a lot of work and effort and ultimately my career matters more than making a YouTube video. Although, you guys have been super generous. <laughs> this YouTube channel is going to have made a lot of money this month thanks to y'all so I really appreciate it. So, that's basically it for this release. I think it's pretty good. I'll be picking up the two Americans, the Southwest and probably the WestJet. 
the others are meh to maybes for me, but overall I do like the set. There's a good variety for basically everyone. And yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this release set. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Tell me what models you're going to buy in the description. I do know a bunch of people watching this video have never seen one of my release videos before. So if you haven't, that's basically just a video where I talk about new model airplane releases. In particular, I'll pick one that just came out the day that I'm recording the video. And this one is the NG releases. By the way, I'm not a big fan of the boy up top. The menu boy is floating here behind. That is kind of eerie. I'm not a fan of that. But that's basically it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And God bless you.